guys, it's Lane Morgan here. We are in Douglas, Georgia at the grounds of our dealership off of uh, Bowens Mill Highway. And guys, I'm excited about showing you this trailer. I'm excited about where we're gonna be next week. Uh, we're taking a huge team down to Miami Beach to a, a natural disaster expo. It's at the Miami Beach Convention Center. And we're gonna be meeting a lot of new customers and just showing them what we can and can't do here at Renowned Cargo Trailers. But guys, this is a this is like a mobile command trailer. Think about when you pull up to a disaster area, think about you're pulling a huge toolbox with you and you're having everything you need because this makes a difference when you pull up to these disaster areas. I actually went on a mission trip one time and I could tell who was prepared and who wasn't in some of these disaster areas. So we wanna help you be fully prepared so you can be sufficient when you pull up to these places. But guys, let me show you around this trailer. This is an eight and a half by 24 foot trailer. We've got on the front, we've got an extended triple tube tongue. We've got a 5,000 pound electric jack. And this is what a generator box. On this generator box, it does have a slide out tray. It's got a door on it, the keys inside the trailer. So I can't show you the tray right now, but it's actually, this is where the generator will be stored. Right here, this is a motor base plug, just like on campers. So it's a 50 amp plug. It's got a twist and lock cord. It plugs right into here. Then you plug it into your generator or your power source, depending on which one you're gonna use, your shoreline. And that's what powers your trailer. The exterior of the trailer is a polycore exterior. It's not your regular aluminum. If you look, it's very durable. It's very thick. It is an 080 gauge material. The thickest you can get aluminum in is 050. This right here is an 080, y'all. Very durable. It will last forever. We did it with a semi-screwless exterior. So we screw it in the seams and then we glue it in the middle. It makes the trailer look very nice and it just makes it more durable. Like I said, it is a thick material. This is the future of cargo trailers. Um, I love it. Everybody's loving it. Our customers are raving about it. It doesn't look real wavy when it's going down the road. We've all seen those trailers that look like a wrinkled up potato chip bag. When you put this stuff on here, it lays flat, looks smooth, looks amazing. We also did what we call a blackout special on this trailer. When you do a blackout special, all your trim's done in black. You get some nice mag aluminum wheels. These are 7,000 pound axles. They're eight lugs. So this trailer is a 24 foot trailer. It weighs 3,600 pounds. We've got 14,000 pounds worth of axles up under it. Uh, 11,400 pounds is what you can haul in this trailer. We've also got a powered awning on here. This is a 24 foot trailer. Uh, we've got a, it's, these awnings are made by Lippert. They are the best awnings on the market. At Renowned Cargo, we don't cut corners. We put the best products on our trailers because we don't try to be the cheapest. But when I got in this business, I do like being the best. So that's what we're doing at Renowned Cargo. We've got a 36 inch RV door right here with an RV lock. We've got some windows on it. This is a 15 by 30 horizontal slider window with screen. It's actually tinted on the outside so you can't see inside of the trailer, but you can see great out from the inside out. We've got some 13 inch LED light bars. These are flood light bars. We've got one here and one there. It will light it up at night so you can let your awning out. You can work 24 seven with this trailer. You don't have to ever stop. It can be running constantly. So, and even on a hot day, you know, if you're working and there's a lot of heat, you can let your awning out, have some shade. We've got you a GFI receptacle here. You can plug in a fan in the morning when you're getting ready to start work. You can plug in a coffee pot. If you're, whatever you're working on, you can, we got you a GFI receptacle right here. This is our uh, QR code. When you scan that code, when we're at the expo or at the convention, they're gonna be able to scan that code. It takes them directly to our website and shows them all about us. We've got a spoiler up here. So this spoiler, we've also got you some LED light bars in the spoiler. So you're gonna have light here as well that is reflecting off the back of the trailer. We've got two LED strip uh, brake lights. There's gonna be plenty of lights. When people pull up behind you, they will be able to see you from here to Texas. Also, we've got some uh, reverse lights as well. So when you're putting it in reverse, you've got some lights so you can see when you're backing up as well. And you can also turn these lights on as well anytime as simple as hitting the switch. 
We've got the floor covered with um, rubber corn flooring, very durable floor. Got some E-Track on the walls. Um, one of the main things about a mobile command trailer is you want to be able to secure your stuff when you're moving from one location to the next. That's one of the things that I hear from a lot of our customers is the biggest problem is, is people don't make it where they can secure their stuff and when they get to one location to the next, stuff fell over or moved or shifted. So we've got E-Track on the walls. This E-Track is recessed into the wall. It's welded to the frame. It ain't going nowhere. It's like it's not like that cheap surface mount E-Track that you see that the people install after the fact. We actually weld this to the frame when we're building the frame. Uh, these are 19 inch LED light bars. They're in the cove of the wall. They're really nice just to give you some extra lighting. They're run off 12 volt. So you actually don't even have to be plugged into any power. Um, down here, if you'll look, we've got some aluminum sidewall vents. What this does, they open both ways. You can, if you're ever hauling anything with some gas in it or just need to create some crosswind, you can open up one on the rear and one at the front and it'll create a draft inside of your trailer. We've also got some uh, 12 volt fans, uh, roof vents with fans in them as, as well. Right here, if you'll notice, that there's the switch that operates the fan. We've got some nice uh, LED lights. These are 110 lights, so to operate these lights, you do have to be plugged into a generator or a shoreline. I love these cabinets. Look at these cabinets. So we've got cabinets with 36 inch doors. Got two doors right here. Plenty of storage space. Man, didn't they do a good job on these cabinets. Shelving, same thing over here. And then if it also we've got a recept in here. If you ever need to plug something in and charge it, we've got a receptacle right there. And guys, we can customize these trailers to however you want it. This is just a showcase trailer that we're taking down to Miami to the Natural Disaster Convention. But guys, if you can dream it, we can build it. I promise you. We can do whatever design that you want. Up here we've got some overhead cabinets, more storage space. We've got an office area here. You can put uh, your chairs in, computers, whatever you want to do. There's more space to work over here. Countertop space. You can use it as a desktop. Countertop space. We've got more L uh, LED lighting up under here as well as up under here. So there'll be plenty of light coming down as you're working on stuff. More cabinet space up here. Overhead cabinets. Guys, they did a phenomenal job with this trailer building. We've got a toolbox for you to store stuff in. If you'll come in here, boom. You ain't even gotta go find a bathroom. We got a bathroom. Anytime you need to go, somebody needs to do their business, boom, it's easy as that. You ain't even gotta leave the trailer. Just close the door, cut the fan on. And we got a hand wash sink right here with a water package. Up under there, there's your fresh water tank. There's your hot water heater. All your pecs plumbing. We've got another fan right there. Like I said, turn the fan on. Make sure you got that going. We've got a receptacle right there. There's your other um, aluminum sidewall vent. Like I said, I love these windows. On a hot day, you can open up the window. You can. There's one on each side. You can catch a draft. They're tinted with screens. Guys, this is a nice, nice trailer. We finished the interior out with white. Aluminum metal, 030 metal. We don't use that thin stuff. We go ahead and build it right. There's going to be a 15,000 BTU air conditioner in here. You're never going to have to worry about getting too hot. This air conditioner right here in a 24 foot trailer, you'll be able to hang meat in here if you want to. So guys, more counter stop, countertop space up here. Plenty of receptacles to plug into. But guys, we're so excited about this trip. Um, I don't know if I've ever been more excited about any trip that we've ever been to. One thing at Renowned Cargo Trailers is we really wanted to brand ourselves across the world, really. Not just in the United States, but we're shipping trailers overseas, um, guys. And one of the things we wanted to do was just really brand ourselves. And uh, Jesus plays a big part in this thing. Um, the, the word renown means to make known worldwide. And that's what we wanted to do. It's never been about trailers. It's always been about people and making his name famous. So that's what we do at Renowned Cargo Tractors. Guys, stay tuned. You're going to get to see a lot of stuff. 
Um, we are heading down to Miami, like I said, South Beach. We're gonna be down there all next week, meeting a lot of people, and we can't wait to meet y'all soon. Um, you can find us online at renowncargotrailers.com, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. If you're in the market of a mobile office trailer, mobile command trailer, anything that you need dealing with a trailer, if you can dream it, like I said, we can't wait to build it. Let us be a little part of that small, or a small part of that huge dream that you got, guys, and I promise you, we'll make you happy. We look forward to seeing y'all soon. Stay tuned. Like I said, we'll be in South Beach next week. Can't wait to get there. And guys, thanks for watching all our videos. Be sure to subscribe to them. And uh, look, y'all know the rest. Until then, y'all be blessed.